But right now, we're worried about Hunter Biden. And, and oh, I mean, Joe Biden never is. Does this not remind you all of the campaign? When dude, one issue would be, it would be Joe Biden's age. Donald Trump would be out there like knocking off banks, right? He'd be, he'd be going in and robbing banks like, like an old president mask, like he was in Point Break or something. Nope. Okay. He'd be showing up, uh, you know, to rooms, you know, to brothels full of, of, of underage women, allegedly. And uh, no, 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 no problem. That's okay. Let's talk about Joe Biden's age. And now, look at what we're looking at. We've got Pete Hegseth and Cash Patel as two of the nominees. Now, are they likely going to get through? Probably not. But you know why they're likely not going to get through? Because they're an effing wreck. They're unqualified. They're insane people. They're sociopaths. They're losers. Who should we start with? Cash sitting there in his crocodile Dundee outfit. He's all leathered up urban cowboy with the six, 12, 18 pairs of socks loaded in his junk and a picture coming from below him. I didn't need to see that. Nobody needs to see that. Or should we talk about how when you look at him, if crack cocaine were eyes, that would be his eyes. I mean, if you took crack cocaine and you were able to form retinas out of it, you would get Kash Patel's retinas. He's a lunatic. He also helped Trump with January 6th. He, the, I mean, you had numerous things. Bob Barr, Barr said that if uh, Kash Patel were appointed as his deputy, that he, he, that he would not allow it over his dead body. Gina Haspel at CIA said if he were appointed there as her de deputy, because Trump kept trying to do this, she would resign. He ended up at defense, of course, to try to help on January 6th. He's an absolute butt-kissing scumbag with no knowledge of anything and crack cocaine eyes. I think we've established that. And he has an enemies list. So maybe talking about his enemies list is more important uh, for a guy who could theoretically be FBI director, a long list of enemies, Republicans and Democrats. Maybe we should talk about that over, you know, Biden pardoning his son for stuff that nobody ever goes to prison for. Crazy. Then there is good old Pete Hegseth. What do you want to talk about? The Aryan tattoo, the fact that he, he's such an extremist, they wouldn't trust him to guard inauguration when Bi President Biden was being inaugurated. The fact that he doesn't think women can serve in combat. A lot of those women could beat the living crap out of that wimp. The fact that He's got more fecal matter in his hands than exists in Donald Trump's diaper. The not washing your hands thing. I don't know. Can Trump wash his diapers? I mean, his goofy haircut, the fact that he lies about everything when he went on Fox News to, to, to its viewers uh, on issues or let's call it issues around health and shots, because there's certain things I can't say on, on uh, this channel. Um, or should we just talk about the fact that when he was at Concerned Veterans for it was a Concerned Vets for America that they said he was basically drunk on the job all the time, harassing the women, and there was financial impropriety. They had to carry him out of the place a couple of times because he was so loaded. So, uh, oh, we got what do we do? We bring top shelf liquor to the hearings when they have hearings for him. Do they need to bring tequila or, in his case, maybe more grain alcohol just to get him to show up? And finally, there's the fact that his own mom thinks that he's the scum of the earth. She's now you know, walking it back like Ivanka, you know, um, or Ivana walked back the accusations of rape against Donald Trump when they were married, because this always happens later on. But I'll just read you that, because remember, it's more important that we go after that we that Hunter Biden become a big issue than this. This is what his mom sent to him. Quote, you are an abuser of women. That is the ugly truth, and I have no respect for any man that belittles, lies, cheats, sleeps around, and uses women for his own power and ego. You are that man and have been for years. And as your mother, it pains me and embarrasses me to say that, but the sad, sad truth. I am not a saint, far from it, so don't throw that in my face. Clearly, he also is verbally abusive to his mom. You can tell right from that. But your abuse over the years to women, dishonesty, sleeping around, betrayal, debasing, belittling, that's all the things that the New Testament recommends you do, I believe. That's why the Christians love them. Need to be called out. It's time for someone. I wish it was a strong man to stand up to your abusive behavior and call it out, especially against women. So she wanted a strong man to come along and beat the crap out of her son because that's the kind of a-hole he is.